I'm Megan Schaefer, and I'm the Cultural Resources Coordinator for Summit Metro Parks. I'm going to share some of the sources that I use regularly and show you how to use them to learn a little bit more about the history of your home. Today, we'll be using Summit Memories Online Map Room, which is administered by the Akron Summit County Public Library's Special Collections Department. The Special Collections Department houses many physical collections, including Summit Metro Parks, historic documents, photos, and maps, as well as many digital collections. Summit Memory is a set of online collections contributed by partner organizations, uh, and their online map room is very important because it houses several early Summit County maps and atlases, which you can see here. As my example today, I'll be looking at the evolution of structures in Gorge Metro Park on the Cuyahoga Falls side of the Cuyahoga River. We have a number of maps to choose from, and I'm going to look at the 1874 Combination Atlas Map of Summit County and the Akron Flat Book of 1921. We'll start with the 1874 Atlas. I can use the table of contents for the atlas by clicking on it and then clicking once again to enlarge it. And here I can see that Cuyahoga Falls uh, is discussed on pages 126 and 127. I encourage you to take the time to look at the table of contents to see what's in the atlas because an atlas like this has a lot of information in it beyond maps, as you can see here. You can also use the search function to pinpoint what you're looking for. In the search box, I'm going to type Cuyahoga Falls and hit enter. I get 44 results. Clicking on this tab that says filtered is going to show me those results. I'm going to scroll down through the thumbnails and look at the illustrations to see if there's anything of interest. And the first one right away I see is an illustration of Old Maid's Kitchen, which is a major point of interest in the park. I can see what it looked like in 1874 and I can see that people are using it even then for recreation. Thinking about structures, I can see that there's a trail leading to the rock shelter and a section of boardwalk, which was no doubt put in there because the original floor of the rock shelter was more sloped than it is today. This may be a bench here in the corner of the rock shelter. And this is an impressive flight of stairs leading from above the gorge all the way into Old Maid's Kitchen. Going back to my search results, on the engraving on the next page or the next thing that came up for the search is the Big Falls Hotel, which was built overlooking the gorge. And here is a trail, which may be connecting to those stairs I saw in the last engraving. Once again, this picture is telling me a story of people really enjoying this area for recreational purposes in the late 1800s. Going back to my search results again, and scrolling down a bit more, I can see that there are maps here. And I recognize the deep bend of the river at the gorge. So clicking on this map, clicking again, and zooming in, I can see the Chuckery Race, which was built in the 1840s, and some other areas where it looks like maybe some stabilization measures or some construction. Uh, occurred at the top of the steep sides of the gorge along its eastern end. So now I'm going to go back to the index of maps and I'm going to select the Platte Book of Akron from 1921, which includes Cuyahoga Falls. 
I can search this a couple of different ways. If I know the street I'm looking for, I can use the street name index, which shows me the alphabetical list of street names and the plate number that those are on. Not the page number, but the plate number. I can also search using the index maps or once again, the online map rooms search function. In this case, I'm going to use the index maps. So I click on the map and click again to enlarge it and zoom into the interest, the area that I'm interested in. And I see that it is on plate 37. Before I look for the plate that I'm interested in, I'm going to look at the map key so that I have a better idea of the information that's represented visually on this map. I see here that this map will tell me uh, what a structure is built out of and in some cases what it's used for. So if it's brick or frame or stone or if it's a garage, uh, that might be something that I can find on this map, that information. This map will uh, also show me some other things like where the electric rail lines were. And Akron and Cuyahoga Falls had an extensive set of electric rail lines in the early 20th century. So that might be useful or interesting information. And now I'm ready to look for my plate. The physical plat books are very large. And as you would open up those books, each plate is made up of both the left hand page and the right hand page. So keep in mind that each digital plate is made up of two scanned images, which are labeled A and B. So you can see, for example, here, plate 1A and 1B. Knowing this, I'm going to search for plate 37A using the search function. And I hit filtered again, and this brings me to plate 37A. I can use these small arrows to scroll and see the entirety of the plate. So I see 37B here. And I see that the area that I'm interested in is on plate 37B. I can see Old Maid's Kitchen once again, as well as the trail that leads to it, as well as the dam, and a small brick structure just to the south of it. And I know that this is brick because it's shaded pink and the map key um, showed me that that means that that's a brick structure. I can see the footprint of Riverview Park an amusement park that was located just off of Front Street in the early 20th century. And the buildings here are all yellow so that I know that they're frame buildings. This one is even labeled, it's a skating rink. I can also see how the park was associated with other things like the electric rail line, which I can see crossing the Cuyahoga River over this Front Street bridge. You can see that it actually has two streetcar lines that are running across that bridge. Finally, I also want to point out that you can see the names of many early housing developments and allotments on these plat maps. Tying back into the discussion of the Summit County Parcel Viewer from my last video, here's where you can see the allotment names from those parcel labels and get a sense of where and when homes are actually being built. This is only the tip of the iceberg in terms of all the interesting information you can find in the online map room, so I really hope you'll spend some time exploring this site. For more content like this, please follow along with us on social media using the hashtag at home in nature. Thank you for joining me here at Summit Metro Parks for your backyard.